today we're going to start lying down. So those of you who are already down, you can stay there. And if anyone's working with any injuries, just to be mindful of how the body's feeling today. And then just letting the feet go into the corners of the mat. Tucking the tailbone under, drawing the palms to face up beside you. And just drawing the chin into the chest. Finding a nice extension of the spine. And then just taking that moment to arrive on your mat. Maybe rocking the back base of the skull from side to side, just sending that signal to the brain that we're slowing things down. And then when you feel ready, just beginning to take the breath in and out of the nostrils. Feeling the belly button rise on your inhale. And fall back to the spine on your exhale. Just notice now if you can start to deepen your breath. Lengthening your inhale. And lengthening your exhale. Being mindful today that to work within your own body, recognize how the body feels in each posture and maybe adjusting or making a different variation which is more suited to your body today. And your next breath out, just slowly begin to lift both arms overhead, inhaling, reaching the arms high, taking that full body stretch. As you exhale, just draw the lower back, the sacrum to the mat. And then taking hold of your left wrist with your right hand, draw the left fingertips over to the right side, just feeling that stretch. And then if you want a little more, you could stack the left ankle on top of the right. Just feeling this deep side body stretch. Just going as far as you feel is good. Finding what feels good. Finding a deep breath in. Drawing the belly button back towards the mat, just seeing if That feels good for you too. When you're ready, exhale and come back to center. And then changing the cross of um, the ankles and taking hold of the right wrist in the left hand, inhale. Over to the left side, maybe crossing the right ankle on top of the left. Feeling this deep stretch through your right side body. And as you breathe out here, drawing the belly button back towards the mat. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, draw it back to center. And 
across the ankles and then just take both fingertips behind the head now. Draw the knees into the chest and just have a rock from side to side, feeling the sacrum down onto the ground below. And then just send your feet, so they're hovering off the mat, parallel. And then just draw the chin into the chest as if you were holding a tangerine or an orange or an apple <laughs> between the chin and the chest. Try not to put any pressure onto the neck here and just start to draw the belly button down towards the ground and up towards the rib cage. Feeling that sucking in, that hovering of the tailbone. Draw the fingertips now out in front, taking pistol fingers. First finger and um, thumbs come together, interlace the rest. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, straighten the right leg and then send the fingertips over to the left corner of your mat as if you were shooting to the left side. Take a deep breath in and then exhale to change. Fingertips to the right side, left leg straightening. Feel the activation in the belly, deep breath. Exhale, changing sides, keep pressing the sacrum down. Pistol fingers to the left corner. Deep breath in and exhale to change. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Keep pressing the lower back down. Last one. Inhale. Exhale to change. Really nice, Adrian. Exhale. Coming back to center. Take a moment just to release the head down, take the hands behind the head. You can let the feet touch and send the knees out wide, just taking a Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a moment to let the energy run through the belly, through the abdominals. And as you exhale, just drawing the feet in closer, seeing if you can grab hold of your ankles here, so knees are wide. Just cross the legs over. If this is uncomfortable, you could take a normal rock and roll. But otherwise, giving it a go, sending feet to the head, rocking and rolling up into a cross-legged position when you feel ready. Once you're right there, just cross the legs over. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Let's draw the hands out in front and just take a deep breath in. As you exhale, walk the hands out in front, release the chin into the chest, the crown goes down towards the ground. The weight of the head is taken by gravity. Find a long breath here. And on your exhale, just slowly travel all the way back up. Well done guys, just taking a moment, finding your alignment, placing your right hand to the left knee, just draw that left fingertip behind you and take a deep breath in and exhale to twist, just warming up our abdominal muscles, ready for our practice, soften both shoulders away, find space through the, or around the neck I should say. Deep breath in and exhale, just take it all the way to the other side. Right fingertips behind you, left hand to the right knee. Find that inhale, press through the fingers. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Find that space. And on your exhale, maybe twisting a little deeper. On your next breath out, Slowly return back to center. And then just taking the feet out to the side or rocking over the knees into your tabletop. Great guys, so just drawing the hands underneath your shoulders, the knees underneath the hip points. Take a moment to sway from side to side, just warming up the wrist a little, warming up those hips. Some of you may like to take circles into the wrists. 
If this doesn't suit you today, you can back out. <laughs> and if you're going with the circle, then just taking the circle the other way. Making sure here you're still pressing away from the mat. You're not crashing into those shoulders. Finding space between the shoulder blades. Coming into your neutral position, making sure you're spreading the fingertips, pressing away from the hands, pressing through the knuckles. Make sure both feet are pressing into the top of, or the back of the mat. And when you're ready, inhale, drop the belly here, drawing a line with your nose to the top of the mat. As you exhale, round through the spine, draw a nose, a line with your nose in towards the belly button. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze, sending that line forwards. Exhale, rounding it through, chin into the chest, belly into the spine, press away from those hands. Take another deep breath in, drop the belly, lifting the gaze. And as you exhale, round it through, chin into the chest, belly into the spine. From here, pressing into the top of the feet. Holding the belly into the spine, start to breathe into the rib cage here. Feel the expansion of the ribs and the back body. As you exhale, press into the top of the feet and start to hover the knees off, maybe a millimeter, maybe a centimeter. Press through those hands more, spread the shoulders. Finding your strength, stay with your breath, breathe through the ribs. Drawing the belly button up and in towards the ribs. As you exhale, slowly release the knees down. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. And you can take an exhale to round through. Chin to the chest, keep the knees down this time. Coming back into your neutral position, just sending the knees wide. Sending your sit bones back into the hips. Just take a moment in child's pose to notice how the body now feels. The forehead is down to the ground. Maybe you're massaging it from right to left. If the forehead's not quite touching today, then stacking the fists or grabbing your block or a pillow, just to have some comfort in the neck, no pressure in your neck space. And just take that moment to reconnect to your breath. Recognize today if you're holding your breath through any pose or tensing up when you don't need to. Seeing if we can find that steady rhythm. Taking one more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, just coming all the way back up into the tabletop position. Knees underneath hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Take a moment, tuck the toes under behind you. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, hover the knees off again. Hold the belly into the spine, press away from the mat. Deep breath in and exhale, send the hips to the sky, coming to your first downward dog. So bending the knees a lot here, maybe pedaling out the heels to the ground. Pressing through the first finger and thumb and the knuckles to draw the sit bones higher. Soften your shoulders away from one another. Again, take a moment to sway here, finding your mojo. Moving the heels, maybe from right to left. Moving the hips from right to left, just feeling a little side body stretch. And then when you feel ready, just to find stillness, take that deep breath in with me through the nose. And out through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale it out. Slowly taking the gaze forwards, inhale. Exhale, walk the feet to the top of the mat, bend the knees. 
as much as you need to. Once you get there, let's have a sway from side to side, maybe holding opposite elbows in your ragdoll, or maybe letting the hands go. Just do what feels good for you today, deep breath in. And on your long breath out, just slowly rolling up through the spine, shoulders, neck and head come last. Now please take a moment if you're feeling dizzy at all, but if you're feeling okay, draw the palms to face forward, roll the shoulder heads back, take your gaze directly out in front, pressing through all four corners of your feet, tuck the tailbone, finding our mountain posture. Tuck the tailbone a little more, finding the head above the heart and the heart above the pelvis. Leaning into that space slightly behind you. Inhale, lift the arms to your high press. Fingertips touch. As you exhale, bend the knees, hinge from the hips, fold all the way down. From here, stepping your left foot to the back of the mat, hands frame the right foot. Make sure here, the both feet are not on a tightrope. So you're on either side of that tightrope. Just take a moment to gaze forward, feeling the stretch through the hip, the activation of that right quad, push away from the mat. Taking a deep breath. Exhale, plant the hands down, hover the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Well done guys, gaze between the thumbs, option to release the knees or keep them lifted. If you're releasing the knees down, shift the weight further forwards, untuck the toes. Elbows brush the side bodies as you lower the chin and the chest to the ground. As you inhale, loop the shoulder heads back, press through the fingers, squeeze the elbows in and lift the chest. Cobra, no tightness in your lower back. Nice everyone. Exhale to soften, press back into your child's pose, take a moment here, again just recognizing how it all felt, notice if you're holding any unnecessary tension in your body now. Slowly on your next breath out, walking the fingertips to the top of your mat, lifting yourself all the way back up into your tabletop. Tuck the toes under, lift the sit bones to the sky, coming into your downward facing dog. Have a pedal out with the heels, sway the hips from side to side. Take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh it away from the mouth. On your next breath in, gaze forward. Tip to the feet to the top of your mat. Have a moment in your ragdoll or swing from side to side. Finding that forward fold. And then releasing the arms as you exhale, rolling up through the spine, shoulders, neck and head comes last. Palms face forwards. Coming into that mountain posture, loop those shoulders down the back. Moving a little faster now. Inhale, lifting the arms to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge from your hips, fold forwards. Inhale, gaze forwards, halfway lift. Exhale to soften. From here, step the left foot, or rather, sorry, your right foot to the back of the mat. Fingertips framing your front foot. Make sure both feet are either side of that tightrope in the middle of the mat. You're placing weight into the front heel, feeling the left hip activate. Draw the left hip back, the right hip forwards, gaze forward. 
Feel the activation in your left leg, deep breath. Exhale to plant the hands back down, stepping the left foot to the back of the mat, high plank. Keep the knees lifted if you want, release the knees down. Elbows brush as you lower the chin and the chest, squeeze those elbows in. Inhale, once you reach the mat, loop the shoulders back, press through the fingers, lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, softening back down. Tucking the toes under, pressing back to your child's pose. And then lifting yourself all the way back up into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Lift the sit bones high. Pressing into all five knuckles here. Finding your long breath. When you're ready, bringing both toes to touch, both feet to touch. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. So just lifting the leg as high as you can now. Opening up the hip. Think about trying to split the seam of your pants, of your yoga pants, whatever you're wearing. And as you exhale, just release the right heel into the bottom. So you're lifting now the knee as high as you can. Start to take circles with the right knee, brushing the left knee as you go by, really opening up this right hip. When you feel ready to start taking the circle the other way, and if you're feeling any tightness, any tension as you start to rotate through the hip, just work through it, not going into any pain. As you exhale, lift the knee a little higher. Finding stillness. Take a deep breath in and exhale that right knee into your nose, flicking it through, grabbing hold of it, helping it along, whatever you need. Release the left heel down at the back of the mat. Windmill the arms up into your warrior two, onto your right side. Pressing into the left heel, really feel the hips opening here. Keep drawing this right femur forwards to op to level the hips. Both fingertips out in, um, in a T position. Reach through these fingers. Drawing the belly in towards the rib cage. Finding your breath. Gaze over the front fingers. On your next breath out slowly. Soften your right elbow to the right knee. Inhale, lift the left elbow to the sky. Exhale, maybe reach the left fingertips forwards while softening the left shoulder away from your ear. Find a long breath. Feel the stretch all through this left side body. On your exhale, we'll slowly reach the left arm back up and all the way to the back of the mat. Nice, Julie, really good control. Gaze back over your front finger. Inhale, turn over the front palm, reach it forwards. Exhale to reach it all the way back, reaching the right arm above you now. Think about drawing this right hip further forwards, pushing the leg out. Staying with your breath. Trying not to crash into this left shoulder, pushing away from the left shoulder. Exhale, come all the way back up into your warrior two. Hold it here. Windmill the arms down to the front foot. From here, step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat into your high plank. Release both knees or keep them lifted. Elbows brush the side bodies as you lower. Inhale, roll the shoulder heads back. Lift the chin and the chest, cobra. Press through the feet. Exhale to soften back down. Press back to your knees. And take a moment in child's pose. Resting the forehead to the mat. Breathing it out or sticking it out in your down dog. 
Notice how the heart rate has lifted. Notice how the breath feels. Take a drink if you need to. Do what feels good. In your child's pose, just letting the sit bones creep back towards the heels. Maybe letting the shoulders just wrap around the torso. Or drawing the arms out in front. When you're ready to meet me in down dog, exhale, send the fingertips forwards, tuck the toes under and lift the sit bones high to the sky. Maybe shaking out the head, yes and no. Just releasing any tension in the neck. Making sure you're pressing through the first finger and thumb and into all five knuckles here to lift the sit bones more. Bringing both toes to touch into the center of the mat. Inhale now, lifting the left leg to the sky. Lifting the left leg as high as you can. Notice how this feels in the right hamstring. <laughs> Trying to split the leggings of the pants so you're opening the legs as much as you feel you can. Maybe feeling this through the right leg as well. Exhale, draw the left heel into the bottom and then start to take circles with that left knee, opening the left hip. Bend into that right knee as much as you feel you need to, especially if the hamstring is tight. When you feel ready to take the circle the other way, maybe working through some tightness and tension, moving back and forth, finding your stillness. Lifting the knee as high as you can. Deep breath in. Exhale, drawing this left knee in towards your nose. Round through the upper back. See if you can flick it through or help it along. Ground that right heel. Make sure the right heel is further away than your toe tips. And then windmill the arms up to your warrior two on your left side. Fingertips are out into your T position, reaching through the arms. Think about drawing this left leg forward, femur, drawing the hip forward, feeling the right heel pressing into the mat, opening through the hips as if you were trying to split that mat in half. Find the long breath, start to tuck your tail. Think about drawing the belly button in and towards the spine. Sucking in the lower ribs. Stacking the head above the heart, heart above the pelvis. Finding your breath. As you exhale, release the left elbow to the left knee. Taking your side angle, inhale the right arm high. Keep feeling the stretch through your right side. Maybe as you exhale, you want to reach the right fingertips to the top of your mat. Drawing the right shoulder down your back, still Breathing deeply here, pushing away from the left shoulder. As you exhale, slowly reaching the right fingertips back up and then using your core and control to come all the way back up into warrior two. Well done guys, awesome. Inhale, turn the front palm over, reach it forwards. Exhale, reaching it back. Reverse warrior, feeling this extension through your left side body, drawing the heart slight to the wall and not the sky, opening the rib cage, not the chest. Keep pressing through that right heel, find your breath. And slowly exhale, come all the way back up. Wind mother hands down to the front foot. Step the left foot now to the back of your mat, come into your high plank. Hold it here, <laughs> lifting the knees up. 
or release the knees down. Elbows brush your side bodies as you lower through a chaturanga. Inhale, roll the shoulder heads back, lift the chest, lift the gaze, cobra. Exhale, soften all the way back down and press back into your child's pose, taking a moment here. If you'd rather stay in down dog just to push yourself a little further, you could. Taking this time to reconnect to the body, the breath. Letting the breath slow everything back down. Notice if the breath has quickened or the heart rate has lifted. When you're ready to move the arms back out in front, deep breath in, reaching the fingertips forwards. And then exhale, lifting yourself all the way back up, tucking the toes under and coming into the downward facing dog. So just enjoy this um, last moment where your head is below the heart. Let's just take a few breaths here, sending the sit bones towards the sky and the heels closer to the ground, they may not touch. Finding your breaths, find space through the shoulders and the neck. On your exhale, let's slowly begin to walk the toes towards the feet. And bend the knees as much as you need to here, lift the arms or the fingers. Once you get to the top of your mat, just start to tiptoe the feet to the corners so they are wide. And then bend into your knees, coming into your malasana squat, sending the sit bones back. Lovely guys. So some of you may want to place a block underneath your bottoms or even a pillow. <laughs> Whatever feels good. If you're in this posture and you've done it with me before, you know what I'm going to say. Make sure you're lifting. <laughs> Make sure the elbows are pressing into the knees. The knees are pressing into the elbows. And you're finding that resistance through the palms by sending them down towards the ground. Keep engaging and lifting. Breathe here. Close the eyes. Maybe find your pitch on your block if you'd rather just to have some, some help here today. Let's take two more breaths wherever you are. And then on your exhale, just slowly beginning to flicker the eyelids open. Take both hands forward. So don't worry too much about what I'm going to make you do. <laughs> and don't think about, I have to lift myself off now. So both fingertips are shoulders distance and both fingers are spread evenly. Making sure you're gazing forwards. This is an option you do not have to take it. Think about just letting the knees go wide just to open the hips a little more. Just taking that weight forwards. Maybe the feet harbor off today. Maybe they don't. Think about the hips getting low rather than coming into your crow or crane if you've ever done those before. So you can just come in and out just pitching on and off. Just feeling the opening of the hips. I really enjoy this one because it's not so much about the lifting, it's more about opening, so getting low. So wherever you are, just taking one more, maybe you can convince yourself to just lift one toe off today or maybe both feet, <laughs> whatever you've got. And then once you're ready, just coming onto your bottom from your malasana squat, both hands can come behind you as gently as you can shake out the legs well done guys i know that was a toughie 
and then st sending your left leg long and drawing the right knee in again just holding that right knee finding a bit of lift now option to keep the right leg on the right side or to cross it over the left knee if this is comfortable stay here otherwise if it's uncomfortable keep the right foot on the right side take a deep breath and use that right knee just to give you some leverage to lift flex the left toes as much as you can towards the face bend into the knee if you need to as you exhale just drawing the right hand behind you placing the left elbow over that right knee maybe you can straighten that left arm find a long breath soften the shoulders smile if you want a little more you could take your right ear to your right shoulder and try not to take your right shoulder to your right ear only if it's comfortable for your neck if it's not just come straight back out And then slowly exhaling, lifting the head back on top of the spine, slowly untwisting the body. Take that twist just in the opposite direction, just to counter pose, gazing to your left, left fingertips behind you. Well done, everyone coming back to centre. Draw the right leg out in front, give it a shake. And then just draw that left knee high. It can be on the left side, or you can cross it over the right knee. Find a deep breath. Use the hands to give you some leverage off that knee. I really find this helps me find a longer spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, just placing the left hand behind you and then drawing the right elbow outside of the left knee. Think about, are you crunching up here? Are you making tension when you don't need to? Try and draw those shoulders away, open the chest, open the heart. Use that right elbow to twist the body a little more. If you want to have a little bit of a neck stretch here, sending the left ear to the left shoulder, just feeling that stretch through the right side. Again, not lifting the shoulder to the ear, but drawing the ear to the shoulder. And your exhale slowly with control just coming back to center with the head first and then back to center with the body bring both hands behind you and shake both legs out just give them a wiggle and then just take a moment to hug the knees after those kinds of twists i always feel it a little, a little through the shoulders maybe you do too i find this is just a nice pose to to give a release And then slowly sending your weight back, lifting your head, lifting your gaze. We're coming into our boat pose. Hands can come, on, come behind the kneecaps and then just hovering the toes off. Make sure both sit bones are down here and you're lifting the chest. Think about squeezing the knees together and towards the belly button. Maybe the feet hover in line with the ground. Well done. Maybe you'd like to lift the arms. If not, grab hold of those legs. Finding your breath. We'll exhale and then slowly start to straighten your left leg and drop the right foot. Deep breath, exhale, change. <sighs> Lovely, guys. Exhale to change. Inhale, exhale, change. <sighs> Last one, inhale, exhale. Drawing both toes off the mat level. Maybe you could straighten the legs today. Maybe you're backing it. Deep breath in, last. Squeeze in off the knees and towards the belly. And then as you exhale, lower down into your low boats. Chin into the chest. And release. So hopefully you are feeling a little fire in that belly. A little activation. So just take the knees wide into the armpits, have a rock from side to side. And then drawing 
the knees above the hips and the feet out in front once again. So like we did in the beginning, we're going to press the sacrum down, half of the tailbone off slightly. Take the hands behind the head to begin just to find that lift of the chest. Imagine there was that orange or tangerine or a ping pong ball between the chin and the chest and bring both fingertips into pistol hands. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, straighten your right leg, take your pistol fingers to the left corner. Exhale, change sides. Left leg straighten, pistol fingers to right corner, inhale. Exhale to change. Inhale. Exhale, change. Inhale. Exhale to change. Last one, inhale. Exhale to change. And slowly release the hands over the knees, knees into the chest. Have another rock. Well done, everyone. Deep breath. On your next breath out, we'll take the arms wide and just take the knees to the right side, your gaze to the left. Just press the shoulder into the ground. And just start to feel that stretch. Take three rounds of breath in each side. Again, just giving those internal organs, the muscles, a massage. Exhale to come back to center. Deep breath in. Change sides. Take a few breaths here, drawing that right shoulder towards the ground. Notice if you have drawn that right shoulder to the ear, can you let it go a little bit more? And slowly exhale, coming back to center, releasing both feet into the corners of the mat, releasing both hands to face up, chin into the chest, Unless you'd like to place the head onto a block, just to have a little comfort there. Especially guys with bigger shoulders, you may need to. Or girls with bigger shoulders. Starting to just let everything go now. Letting any tension from the face or the body just melt away. Notice how your breath is returned to its natural rhythm, that unique rhythm. When you feel ready to slowly start moving the fingertips, moving the toes. 
Taking a full breath in and reaching the arms overhead. As you exhale, just slowly catch your knees to your chest. Squeeze those knees in. Maybe you have a little rock here. If you'd like to rock to the right side, you could. Or staying lying on the back with the hugs knees in if you prefer. With the knees hugged in if you prefer. Just take a moment to have gratitude for getting on your mat this morning. Taking that time for you. And then slowly rising to a comfortable seated position keeping the eyes closed if you can drawing the hands to the heart center and sit up nice and tall here press the thumbs into the chest find that connection closing the eyes so everybody finding a deep breath in through the nose Exhale through the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. The love and the light inside of me sees and adores the love and the light inside each and every one of you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.